Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and who has donated to this channel. Also, thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me. This is a bonus reading I'm putting out for you guys this month uh, on what you might not be expecting to happen. Naturally, these are general readings, so they are not going to resonate with every one of you who are watching. There's too many of you out there. So this is for uh, Sagittarius. All right. I feel that you are presently, um, whoever this is I'm speaking to, in a relationship that you are not happy. Um, you could be in this relationship for um, like a relationship of convenience, so to speak, because obviously the emotion is not here. Um, and, you know, this is because you have not gotten over uh, someone from your past, so you're still emotionally stuck on someone from your past. You haven't gotten over it. Uh, and so that leaves you in a position of uh, reevaluating your um, your present circumstances. Maybe you went into this, you may not have went into this with the intention uh, of um, of this being a relationship of convenience, you know, but this it's like the, it's the way it turned out. It's like uh, perhaps you were deceiving yourself when you um, when you started this. Um, so you're reevaluating, you're not happy. It's like, um, the sun is not, uh, no longer there. And, you know, you're trying to, uh, find a way to, um, get over, I feel like you find, what I pick up, <laughs> if I'll find the right words, what, what I pick up is that uh, it's like you're trying to remove a wall or an obstacle that separates you from the past. It's like trying to uh, walk back um, because it's like you can't get out of that. The emotions are there, but it's like the emotions and the love is on that side of the wall and you're standing over here, you know. Um, I feel that the relationship, it, it, it's like... It's like you have no control over your situation. It's and it's like you you feel like you can't control it. You can't get over this. You can't pull yourself out of this. And you've tried. You did move into this present relationship with good intentions. It's just you were unable to get over this. Um the person from the past could have been very controlling. That could have been uh, a part of the reason. Um, they may have been somebody who worked a lot. And perhaps you didn't get the attention that you needed from this person. Um, perhaps you felt betrayed by them. Um, in, in some way, because I don't, uh, it's like I don't see um, a third party or I don't feel that, I don't feel that it was about cheating is what I'm trying to say. I feel that there was something that was missing there at that time. Um, lack of attention, uh, lack of uh, equal give and take, um, that you know, um, left you feeling um, hurt, betrayed, in in you know, uh, on, on an emotional level. Um, 
I don't think that you're expecting to hear from this person. I don't. You know, I, I don't think that you feel that you can get over this person. And I don't feel that you, as much as you would hope to be able to remove that obstacle, it's like you don't see it happening. But what you don't expect is that you will be hearing from them. Uh, there is a discussion or a meeting. And um, possibly a talk or a discussion even about the good times, um, perhaps more even um, very, very friendly. This, this, it's, it's like um, a good meeting where you talk about uh, the good things and it's like you, it's almost like um, what happened or the hurt or the pain is, it's like it's not, it's not part of this discussion. So it's it's kind of like hidden, um, covered up by the happier moments, and and this is what this discussion would be about. Um, I feel that this brings or causes a lot of confusion for you. Perhaps this person uh, had or has. Uh, a habit of um, only um, like not wanting to bring up past pain or past hurt and like only um, talk about like the now, you know, um, not wanting to bring these things onto the table. Um, I feel that you What is sure to come true here is that um, you feel, although this was a good or a nice friendly meeting, and one that you had hoped for that you not you did just did not expect. There's something hidden here, and and this is what you feel. Um, maybe you feel this person is hiding uh, something from you. You are feeling uh, very cautious and very careful. Now, this is in the, in this row of what is sure to come true. You uh, really, this is it, like um, reflecting. Um, you know what is needed. What what has to be sacrificed here for? the desired result. What is that desired result for you? Is that your happiness overall? You may even be thinking uh, that, you know, you can't trust this person anymore. Like, you know, maybe it's got to do with this meeting, only the, the good things, nothing of what, nothing being solved is what I'm saying. A very, very friendly, uh, only talk about the good things, the nice things. Um, you may feel because of this, that this person is not really being open and doesn't really want to discuss what went wrong and that you may not be able to bridge that gap between you. And you may be thinking of um, turning this offer down, or you could be thinking of turning this offer down. This card would suggest that you should be careful what you wish for, okay? So I feel like this is like a period um, after this meeting of, um, deciding what you need to do and what you are willing to sacrifice for this uh, person. Because what is sure here, and it's all here in the overall energies, which do preside over this reading. It's 
the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. This is somebody coming back with an offer for a new beginning, with an offer for happiness that you've been craving, that you've been lacking here, with an offer of commitment. And, you know, you are open to talking about it, which happens here. But then we have this King of Cups, the lovers in reverse, and the fool in reverse. So you may not want to take a risk on this person, and you may decide to turn them down. And, you know, maybe um, this is um, a much-needed meeting um, to help you get um, clarity uh, or to clarify this this desire or to an, it, maybe even a wake-up call because something happened in the past that broke you apart and obviously I don't feel this person wants to talk about that. And that would have been a very important key that or element that would have been missing from that meeting and which is so essential to you. And so this is what I have for you. Um, you know, how this turns out is um, how you're going to decide. I do feel that you will be deciding to turn this down. Simply because of this meeting um, and the lack of trust here and the fact this person is like they still don't open up. It's the same as before, right? That's what they did before. They did not open up. Um, they did not share. Uh, they were perhaps cold. Um, didn't give you the attention you needed. So I think I think that um, you know this meeting really. Uh, you're really going to think about this, okay? Uh, don't forget about the message on this card. I, I, you know, I drew these extra cards to get clarif clarification here on this, uh, what is sure to come true. Uh, and really, it is advising you to be careful what you wish for, okay? Um, yeah, I think that's all I want to say. So, thank you for watching, and... Um, Many blessings. Bye for now.